Good morning, Year 3. It's Miss Callahan with another literacy lesson. Today's date is Thursday the 11th of February 2021 and your learning objective is to draft an information leaflet. Please write these in your literacy books nice and neatly on a clean page. Our spag warm-up we're going to look at compound sentences again. Can you remember what a compound sentence is? So a compound sentence is where you have a main clause, then a connective, then another main clause. For example, Zoe can be rude at times is a main clause. This would make sense on its own. But is one of our coordinating conjunctions she is a nice girl. It's another main clause. This would also make sense on its own. And we use compound sentences to make our writing more varied. If we had lots of short sentences, it could make your writing difficult to read. But by using a coordinating conjunction, we can improve our writing, making an interesting compound sentence. Here is your spag challenge for today. You need to choose one of these, mild, spicy or hot, and write the compound sentence by rearranging the words or sentences. As an extra challenge, can you label what the main clauses and the coordinating conjunctions are? Pause the video while you try this and press play when you're ready to continue. Remember, you only have to choose one of these to do, mild, spicy or hot. Today, we are going to be starting to write our information leaflet about healthy lifestyles. We need to make sure we do the best leaflet we possibly can do so that Dr. Hebb can use them in his doctor's surgery to inspire the local community to make better choices. We want to help fight the rising obesity, tooth decay, sleep deprivation, common coughs and colds and lack of cleanliness. Already this week you've been writing lots of advice on how to live a healthy lifestyle. On Monday you looked at the information leaflets and summarised the advice that they were given. On Tuesday you created your brainstorm of the different advice that you could give to people to help them lead a healthy lifestyle. And finally yesterday, on Wednesday, you started to plan your paragraph and organise your ideas using subheadings and three key questions. Today we're going to put that all together to create the first page of our leaflet. Here is an example of a leaf that, that Miss Callahan created to show you. You can see on the first page I have a title. My title is Healthy Lifestyles. Underneath I have got a picture of a family holding a heart. They all look happy and healthy. Let's read through my example together. You should have a copy in your pack so you can follow along too. In the second section, I have my introduction that I wrote yesterday. For your body to work properly, it needs you to live a healthy lifestyle. If you lead a healthy lifestyle, you will be healthier, happier and live longer. If you look on this page, you can see that I've got some different sections. With subheadings, I've got a section on balanced diet, along with a picture. I've got a section on staying hydrated with a picture of water and I've got a section on staying active with a picture of some children who look like they are doing physical activity. The pictures and subheadings help make it easier to read. The reader can look at the section that they want to look and can see clearly from the pictures what each section will be talking about. Let's have a read of the first paragraph on a balanced diet. It's important to eat a varied and balanced diet to stay healthy. 
Good health involves eating the right amount of foods from the different food groups. One, carbohydrates give us energy. They are found in foods such as bread, potatoes and pasta. Two, proteins help our body to repair themselves. They are found in foods such as fish, meat, nuts, seeds, eggs and cheese. Three, fats help us store energy for our bodies. They are found in foods such as butter, cheese, nuts and fried food. Four, fibre is important for helping us digest our food. It's found in fruit and vegetables. A good breakfast helps to give you energy to start the day. You should eat at least five fruits and vegetables every day. You can see in this section that I followed my plan from yesterday. I've said what a balanced diet is. It involves eating the right amount of foods from different food groups. I've told you why it's important that you have a balanced diet to give us energy, to help our bodies repair themselves to help us digest our foods. And finally, I've given a recommendation. You should eat at least five fruit or vegetables every day. This explains how you can achieve a balanced diet. I've followed the same pattern for the other two paragraphs. Using my subheading, my what, why and how. The next section is staying hydrated. You need to drink plenty of fluids to stop you getting dehydrated. The government recommends drinking six to eight glasses every day. Water, lower fat milk and lower sugar drinks are healthier choices. Try to avoid sugary soft and fizzy drinks as they're high in calories. They're also bad for your teeth. Staying active. You also need to make sure you exercise regularly to keep your heart, lungs mus and muscles strong and healthy. Children should do 60 minutes or more of physical activity each day. To exercise, you could go for a walk with friends, ride a bike, play football, skip, dance. Using bullet points and numbers make it easier to read, particularly for children who might want to read it while they're sat waiting in the doctors. Break up the big pieces of texts into smaller chunks. And on the next page of our woggle, you have got some more sections on sleep, hygiene, brushing your teeth, keeping your body and clothes clean, and finally some top tips for feeling good. We will look through this together tomorrow. Today your task is to start filling out your leaflet template. You need to find the one that says today's date, Thursday the 11th of February, and complete this page. You need to include your leaflet title. Mine was a little bit boring of healthy lifestyles. I'm sure you can come up with one that's much better. It might include a question. might include an exclamation mark and then you need to draw an eye-catching picture for the first section. This could be everything that your leaflet is going to include. You could have a picture of all the different sections. For example, you could have some fruit, you could have some water, you could have a toothbrush. You might choose to draw a happy healthy person smiling. Choose something that is relevant to the leaflet. When you have finished your first section, you're going to write your introduction. You should have drafted this yesterday, but have a look if you can edit and improve it. Your introduction should answer the question, why is it important to maintain a healthy lifestyle? You need to tell the reader straight away why it is important that they follow your advice. When you have done your introduction, you're going to write three sections, including pictures. You might want to do this on the balanced diet, drinking water and exercise. 
try to include some bullet points too. Remember that you drafted some paragraphs yesterday using your what, why and how. So you can use these in your writing today to make sure that we're getting as much information into our leaflet as possible. Your leaflet should be eye-catching, including bright colours and pictures. The chilli challenges for today will also help you with your leaflet. The mild chilli challenge says that leaflets need to be eye-catching. How could you improve my leaflet? If you're choosing to do the mild challenge, you need to tell a family member how you would make people want to read your leaflet. Would you include bright colours? Would you include pictures? What sort of text have you included? Why might this make your family member want to read your leaflet? For the spicy challenge, in your writing I want you to try and use some cause and effect conjunctions to logically link points to supporting details. There are some ideas of some cause and effect conjunctions here. You've got as a result, because, this causes, consequently, which means, and so. And you're going to use these to link your point to why the reader should do this. For example, as a result of eating a healthy, balanced diet, you will have more energy. Eating a healthy, balanced diet is the cause. As a result, you will have more energy. That is the effect. Try to include at least one of these in your writing. Finally, the hot challenge is can you include facts and evidence to support your reasons? You might need to do a little bit of research for this. In your sections, you need to try and find a fact that will back up your argument. For example, if you exercise regularly, you will reduce the risk of developing health problems such as type 2 diabetes. So you need to include these challenges in your draft of your leaflet. You have lots of resources that can help you with your writing. You've got my example that you can look at for ideas and then you have all your work in your literacy book. You've got your summaries, you've got your brainstorm and you've got your organised paragraphs which should help you structure your writing to ensure that you're getting all the facts and information across. These leaflets are really going to help the community, so make sure you try your best and produce your neatest work. If you need any help, you can email your teachers. In tomorrow's lesson, we will be finishing our leaflet by doing some more sections. And then you will bring your work back to us Friday afternoon so that we can give them to Dr Hebb. Well done year three, keep working really hard, we hope that you enjoy your task today.